Previously, I broke the game by making a bow that did an astounding amount of damage, and that could one-shot almost anything. But today, oh boy, we broke the game even further. Step aside, spiffing Brit, this is how you break a game. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the strongest wooden sword you've ever seen. And you can do it with only a handful of mods that you can find in your most popular mod pack. So nothing out of the ordinary, normally these mods are balanced within each other, but when you combine some of the stuff, you get some really OP thing. And this is how I made the most OP broken sword. So a normal wooden sword does 4 damage, so if we hit a zombie like this, it has 2 armors. So let's see how strong we can get this sword with vanilla only. So let's drink a potion of strength 2, and let's enchant our sword with sharpness 5. This is the strongest you can get a wooden sword in vanilla Minecraft, so 14 or 13 damage. Pretty straightforward. You cannot get any stronger, and if we crit, it goes out to 18 or 19. You can also get Smite 5, which only deals more damage to a zombie, so now you can one-shot it, you deal at least 20 or 22 per crit. But let's start to add some mod to this. So first we're gonna add Apotheosis, which increased the limit of every enchantment by like 4 or 5. So now we can put Sharpness 9 on our sword. As you can see, we do way more damage. We could also use Smite 10, but instead of Smite 10, we're gonna use a mod called Enigmatic Legacy. We're gonna use an enchant called Slayer, and this thing, it targets a monsters. The sad part is that it doesn't stack with sharpness. So now, without String 2, I do 21 damage, which is a lot. And now we're gonna add the mod Ensorcelation, which will add the Instigating and the Vorpal enchant. Instigating makes so that when the mob is at full health, it will deal double damage, and Vorpal has a small chance to do a triple damage. So if we time it right, there we go, 73. And we're not done with Ensorcelation, there's something called Cavalier. And that makes that when you're riding a mob, you deal, I don't know how much, but more damage. So let's grab this horse right here, and let's just run towards this guy. And we dealt you 113. So we've reached 113 on a Volpo Strike. So if we're lucky with Instigating... 191. Well, that's... it's starting to get into one-shotting boss territory. But we're not done. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and we didn't apply any strength on that. This is without strength, by the way. Anyway, let's start to add dungeon gear in the mix. Oh, yeah. The one that made the bow really strong. Also, did you know that when you combine your cursor with the subscribe button, you get some really awesome content? So, consider doing it. It helps me a lot. Let's add dynamo. When you jump, it adds the dynamo effect, and your next hit will do way more damage. So now we did 92 on a normal hit. But let's go on the horse, because why not? Let's activate the dynamo. 45. 74. 158. 326. Okay, there we go. Now we've passed the 300 marks. The goal of today is to find the highest number we can get with a wooden sword. And put your guess in the comments how high you think we can get with a wooden sword. Some say offense is the best defense, but what if the best defense is the best offense? Blah, 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 blah. That was weird. Okay, this is the full metal armor set from Dungeons Gears. It gives 7.5% attack damage per pieces on your body. So if we equip that and we use our super sword... We do a little bit more damage. It's not huge. 400, so a little, a little bit more. But there's an enchantment that goes on the armor. That is called Reckless. And these things reduce your health to 4 hearts. So when you're in survival mode and you wear the chest plate, you go down really low. So you need protection. But still, this is how you do damage now. In the 50s without anything else. And if we use Dynamo on a horse with a critical strike... 590, almost 600 damage, so we almost doubled the 300 of earlier. So, do you think we're done? We have reached the max damage we can do? <laughs> if you look at the time of this video, <laughs> we're not done! Oh no! There's some mod that has Curio, and Curio is like accessory. Like in Terraria, you can have accessory that boosts your damage, your speed, your defense, but yeah. I said damage. With the Curious mod itself, you have the Curious Knuckle, which deals 4 additional damage. So with Dynamo on a horse... 1000 damage. We've reached the 1000 mark. Oh yeah. This charm is especially against undead creatures, so 25% increase damage against undead creature. We're gonna put that in charm. This necklace gives plus 2 damage and grant the sinful buff. So now, normal damage goes around 68, 69. Nice. Without the crit, 129 without the crits. But here, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it starts to get crazy. This thing is called the Soul Devourer. The Soul Devourer stores soul when you kill a mob, and for each soul stored, you gain 0.1% increase in damage. Oh, and for that, you need a belt to equip it, so let's use the Drown Belt. We'll, we'll come back to the Drown Belt later. It's gonna be useful. So let's equip our Talisman, and now let's just 
eat some souls. I'm sorry, you can go. I'm sorry, you can go. There we go. We're at full soul, which is 100. And now, what if we just do this? 6,800 damage. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that again. This time with dynamo. There we go. We just did 38,000 damage to a zombie with a wooden sword. All right. You thought that was over? Oh, no. It's just the beginning. You see, with enchant with mob, you can enchant yourself in 1.16. We now have strong tree, which is pretty much the equivalent of strength tree. But the thing is, it stacks with strength tree. And wait, but potion only do strength 2. How are you gonna get strength 3? There's a thing in ice and fire called ambrosia. And this thing is pretty much OP. It gives you jumbo tree, absorption tree, so a lot of HP, luck tree, and strength tree. So in here in survival, you have 10 hearts now. You're back to 10 hearts. Yay! So now, what's the damage you can do with that? We'll see. Oh, 61,000 damage. There we go. We got the nice crit. <laughs> We're not done. Oh, no, no. And this is how you completely break the game. Oh, yeah. So I'm sorry, little horse, but we are done here. I don't need you anymore. I have a better steed. And two new enchantments that we're gonna add. Sea infusion and impaling. Impaling on a sword? You can do that. Oh yeah. There's uh, I don't know which mod does that. I think it's insulation or sneaky magic or I don't know. But there's a mod that can make impaling to the sword. And what it does is increase damage dealt to water-based mobs. So it changed a bit how it works normally. But there's also sea infusion. Deal extra magic damage when wet. So let's add those enchantments to our sword. And yes, they all stack and multiply to each other. And then we can go here. This is my little aquarium with my mighty hippocampus. So now, as you can see, if we just swipe the sword, like normally without any buff, and we don't have the full soul devourer full, we have three soul stores, so it's almost empty. We deal around 2,000 damage, 4,000 damage, 400 per hit without crits. 84,000 damage. Let's try with the Holy Locket now. Because we can't do crit and use the Wrath Pendant. So let's use the Holy Locket instead. Which deals 50% more damage to undead enemies. And this is an undead based enemy. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. The Drowned Belt does 100% underwater damage. So when I'm underwater, I deal more damage now. So let's fill our soul. Let's use Dynamo. Let's get on the Hippocampus. There we go. 173 thousand damage we're getting into nightmare craft territory so are we done here is this the max we can reach no but almost let's see what we can add next this is the poisonous arc from blue skies and the runic arc from blue sky this item makes so that i do more damage while i'm poisoned and the runic arc boosts the poisonous arc by one so i deal four damage more when i'm poisoned and while we're there let's add the last piece the piece de resistance the quark ancient tome which can increase by one the limit of every enchantment that we added to our stuff yep that's right so let's fill our soul. So now just hitting the drown deals around 14 to 80,000 damage. <laughs> it's insane. And this is not even the highest number we can get. So if we just time everything just right with the right amount of soul, dynamo, underwater against an undead, we just did 312 thousand damage and this is ladies and gentlemen how you completely break the balance of minecraft at this point you don't even need a sword with all the other buffs so let's ignore slayer instigating four pole cavalier dynamo impaling sea infusion let's use our fists with only the soul the charm the belt the knuckle and the holy locket strength and the mud enchant with poison we deal a thousand damage with our fist this shouldn't happen things shouldn't multiply like that so to all of you mod pack maker, um, make sure to nerf this, because <laughs> uh, if you put these mods together, you're gonna have a hard time balancing all this. And now that you've watched all of the instructions, it's time to kick some butt. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's time to destroy some bosses. Here we have some hippocampus. Let's start with a simple one like Barako the Sun Chief, you know, like oop, and Ignis. Normally he has a damage cap of 20. Nope, no more. I don't know what does that. But I just ignore every damage cap. Let's go with the Started Crusher. Nope, it's dead. Even the Blue Sky limitation just doesn't, I don't care. It just doesn't care. The Arachnark, it's dead. One shot. The Nether Scorch, goodbye. It's over. Ferris. Yeah, no, Fer Ferris is still Ferris. So 
What about the Cosmic Fiend? Oh, dead. And Nature Guardian. Dead. Jeffrey? Jeffrey, come here. Goodbye. Anyville. Ah, nope. Oh, you, you, what? No, never mind. I can what, what? Can we one shot Godzilla? Yes, what? Okay, it, it killed my hippocampus, but still, what? Okay, uh, oh my god, we just broke the game so much. So, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. And as always, you're awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Can I, can I, can I kill the, the bedrock golem? Which is unvulnerable.